Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the R2-Y2 Kai V2. This is a Japanese jet fighter that is in a line of three jet fighters, starting with the R2-Y2 Kai V1. And there are some differences between these, though they are all the same. Rank 5, battle rating 7.7, .7, at least for now. Although, the Kai V1 is 7.7 .7 in AB, whereas the other two are 7.3 in AB. Oddly enough, I'm not really sure why. There are not too many differences between these planes. There are some physical differences. So, as you can see, you have the engines here in the back. Whereas in the R2-Y2 Kai V1, they're here on the sides. Also, 1,300 kilograms. Uh, force if I'm not mistaken kill whatever it is a force whereas these only have 1220 they are the same exact engine if I'm not mistaken and uh, but they produce more thrust uh, it may just be due to the engine placement maybe these get a little bit more air and thus can produce more thrust but this is a slightly faster plane and it does have a 500 meter higher altitude so there's that so it's got about the same rate of climb same turn time and a 12 kilometer per hour higher top speed with the V2 over the V1. In my experience, it's not really all too substantial, but I have noticed in matches where I am in the V2, and there are other people in the V1, I do actually end up being a bit ahead of them, uh, despite having the lower amount of thrust. At least that's, again, what it says here. Not really sure why that is, but these do have less thrust. Anyways, this still has nasty 30 millimeter cannons, four of them, with a relatively low amount of fire rate, but they put out a tremendous amount of force and knock out most planes in one, maybe two hits at most. That being said, let's get into a few gameplays here and see what we can do. A few matches. Ooh, we have ourselves a plane. This is a big mamma jamma of a map. We're just going head on here. Hell yeah. Okay, I feel kind of bad for that guy. <laughs> Wait, I got someone else? Okay, an F-84 coming up for me. Uh, I don't think he's going to quite have the juice to get to me. Nah, he's not. But this guy, I'm a bit worried about. Got a second kill! Heck yeah! Oh, -ho. anyways, so in um, with this plane, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning, but it is very important to know that in an interview, Gaijin has said that they will likely be removing the R2Ys um, from War Thunder. And I believe, come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. I can get this one, though. Nice. Got a third kill. Not too bad for being thrown on by, like, three people. Anyways, let's get into the next match. But basically, what I was going to say is that the R2Y2 was never actually built as a jet. There was one that was built as a recon plane. As far as I know, it was never armed. But the jets were never made. Um, they never even were partially constructed. So, that being said, let's get into the next match, and I might go over it a little bit more there. So, as I was saying, the R2-Y2s will likely be taken from War Thunder probably sometime, I'm assuming in the next year or two. Um, you know, they didn't offer any sort of timetable as to when they expect this to happen. But it was said in an interview, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, the European Canadian actually has a video about that um, that I would certainly recommend that you look it up because I probably will remember, or will forget to include that in the video description, but it is definitely worth watching because it's actually a really interesting interview, and they go over a lot of the ins and outs of War Thunder and why it takes so long to model certain vehicles and and all of that. So it's actually a really interesting video um, that I would strongly recommend any fan of War Thunder watch uh, because it provides a lot of insight. But anyways, the R2-Y2s will be likely taken away. I, if I were you guys, I would try to research them uh, because they are fantastic planes um, and I can really not say enough good things about them. But that said, let's dismantle this Meteor F. Got him. Okay. Oh, no! And I got my buddy, too. Oh, it was that last shot, too. Oh, gosh. I actually feel really bad about that. Oh, Maroon. I'm sorry, my man. I am actually genuinely sorry. Is this... That's weird. 
That was genuinely very strange. Let's go for this one. Got a third kill. Not too bad. Not much damage on me. Let's go for a fourth. I almost kind of feel like I'm going to be taking this one, but not really because he's still flying. Um, fourth kill. Fourth kill. Not too shabby. So I had a three kill match. Now I've got a four. Let's go for a fifth. Is he going for me? Nope, he's not. Ah! Okay, I'm going for this 262. Never head on with a 262. But I'm going to head on with a 262 because I really want this fifth kill. Ah, come on! Wow, I almost got rammed by the uh, corpse. Okay, let's do this. I really... So, like, that's another thing with my gameplay style here. I'm constantly checking to make sure that, that there are enemies in the area and, and all that, right? And so, you'll see people... I've actually had people say, Oh, well, you get a lot of head-ons. and You know, if you guys haven't noticed, I've almost kind of perfected the art of the head-on. But more so, um, what I'm more concerned with, I just like quick action. I'm not here to survive these matches all the time. I really don't care about surviving these matches all the time. And so, while it might look like you know it's good practice to of course survive these matches he might crash yeah he's crashing um that's not really something that i care about so much unfortunately so you know you might be like oh you get a lot of head-ons or you do it it's like yeah well i also get four kills in three minutes you know um uh, that's kind of the point i i do not care to be in a match for 20 minutes um, I'd rather be in a really quick match, fly dangerously. I'm not playing with my own life, you know. This is an internet life, and so my kills oftentimes are not all too refined. But I do still get kills, and that to me is what matters. Um, you know, so even if they're done in a down and dirty way, I still get the kills. So this is a fighter that's left. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to probably have to get into the next match. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get a fifth kill there, but I guess I probably shouldn't be surprised. Anyways, probably going to jump in. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. That might be him. That might be him. So I'm probably going to be jumping into this next match any moment now. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's get into some more action here. Okay, so we have a final uh, ME 262 over here. He is in hot pursuit of our F 84 buddy over there. Now, I've got a bomb on the bottom of this. I'm expecting that I'll have to drop it uh, early, unfortunately. But um, I, one thing I've noticed is, uh, you know, in relation to my more recent comments in this video, just saying that I play kind of a little bit, um, I guess, fast. Um, Really, yeah, I'm going to have to drop this. So, <clears throat> what I want to do is introduce maybe, like, some tactics. Say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is, you know, that, this, that, or the other thing in my videos because... Oh, oh yeah, this F3 is going to get the ME-262. I can almost guarantee... You no, know, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, wow. What is he doing? I might get this fifth kill after all, guys. Fifth kill! Yeah! What is that, an ace in a day? Heck yeah! Okay, anyways, let's get into the next match. Woohoo! Now, I've had some people say, Tankenstein, I really... I don't like seeing people climb for three minutes or four minutes and, you know, whatever. They don't like the full-form gameplay. And some people say, I do like that. Uh, but insofar as what I'm going to likely end up doing is I'm just going to have my gameplay where it's just a lot of action. And, I mean, this is all live commentary, mind you. So... Uh, that's kind of just what I'd prefer to do. It saves on gigabytes, too. Plus... Whoa! Oh, wow, he flipped! Holy guac, I did not expect that, man. Okay, I got someone on me. Got someone on me. Got me a Charlie Wingo Bingo. Okay, this guy, the Kika, is going for the A2D1 despite somebody being on my tail. Man, I love allies. I love allies in this game. Like, come on, man. I could have went for that A2D1 if I wanted. And now I will. 
Oh, look at that! <laughs> I get the kill anyways. Anyways, um, yeah, I want to have this where there's uh, a lot of action in my gameplay. I prefer it that way. But that being said, let's get back to the actual gameplay at hand rather than what people want or whatever the case may be. I mean, tell me what you guys want in the comments below. I, I do actually read that, and uh, I do take that all into account. But uh, that said, I will likely... Um, I do want to at least, like, talk about the planes and some of their strengths and weaknesses, at least on occasion in my gameplay. Nice! Got a second kill. Two kills, one assist thus far. Where's that F-80 that dived? Or dove, rather. Oh, there he is. Um, got an F-84 coming up, though. But one striking thing about this aircraft, though, is how off its stat card is. Man, these people love flying right into my shots, man. I got three kills and one assist. Officially, this is now better gameplay uh, in terms of kills than my R2-Y2-V1 gameplay. Hopefully, I can even out for this guy. Doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. Okay. He's proud. Hopefully, he doesn't come down. But this thing has a ridiculous ridiculously um, off stat card. I mean, it's crazy how wrong the stat card is on this and the other R2, Y2, the V1. Um, it's just remarkable. Be a good way to put it. Because the stats on, uh, like the rate of climb, for example, much better than what it shows. Um, the turn time on the R2, Y2 is way better than what it shows. I mean, these fly like traditional Japanese planes, except much faster. I mean, it's crazy how good they are. Performance on this, it's like a supercharged ME-262 with much better handling, and in my opinion, better cannons, because they last far longer and are more accurate. Let's try to get this kill. What is he doing? Okay, I kind of, ooh, wow. There's a guy right down here. He's coming up. I don't know why. What is that? Four kills and an assist. Oh, boy. This is a good match again. Uh, I don't. I think it's going to end at four kills, though. Likely. Likely, likely, likely. I'm just going to dive down for some more speed. Let him come down after a little bit. But... What's going to happen? I mean, he's going to stall out or something. There's no way he can continue to climb at that rate. Look at that. He's already coming down. He's diving down for me. Maybe. I'm assuming. Maybe not. Maybe not. At this point, I pretty much have to preserve some ammo because I don't really have much. F-80s are actually really good divers. People don't know it, but they have a very similar dive rate uh, compared to the ME-262. I actually did a comparison video on that. There's another plane here. Um, I can outspeed the F-80, but he does already have a head of speed behind him. Okay, that F-7F is right behind me. Kind of nervous, but I'm still on the tail of this guy. I can outspeed the F-7F and probably get away with this kill. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Hoping. No! My four kill game or my five kill game is gone. Anyways, now let's get to the, uh, let's just get away here. I think that's going to be the end of this gameplay. There's no way I'm making it back to base and, uh, you know, refueling before everyone is whatever. Or I'm going to die, so there's that too. But either way, like I said, I like to play my gameplay fast. I like to play it uh, fun. Don't you hate this when the last few people just kind of hang out by their base? Like, I get it. It's a strategy. Because those AAs will rip people apart. But man, doesn't it kind of like take away the competitive spirit of it? You know? Anyways, I'm going to go for this F-80 here. I guess the match is still ongoing. I was able to return to base, get repaired, and uh, get back up in the sky. I was going to drop a bomb, but then I saw these two guys were active. So I got this F-80. I think that's the one before that I didn't let... Uh, that I didn't kill. So I'm going to try to get a fifth kill here, hopefully. Being that I am the one tailing this guy. I'm going a touch fast. Got a fifth kill. That's my second fifth kill of the night. Woo! In a row, no less. In a row. 
So all three of these matches, if I'm not mistaken, that I have in this gameplay are all in a row. Amazing. Uh, like, in my opinion, like, I'm not one to toot my own horn, trust me. I don't want to. But man, oh man. I might just go in for this guy because, like I said, play hard, play fast, play ball, do whatever. I am just tired of these people hanging out by their base. It's such a cheap tactic. If I'm gonna, if you're gonna, like, lose, then lose with some dignity. You know? Um, so I might dive in on him. Not really sure. I'm gonna climb a bit. But, you know, I mean, ultimate, it is a tactic. I, I, it's not a tactic that I'd like to use. Um, you know, if I'm ever going to be the last person to live, um, at least uh, go out there and uh, do something. But, you know, to each their own. This is not something I typically like to do, but I feel like I'm going to have to do it. It's not necessary, but I really want this six kill. And we're going to lose, potentially, if I don't. Oh, there he is. Wow, no kidding. Okay, he's flown out. Let's see if I can get this kill. Oh, I better stay up a little bit here. <laughs> Last thing I want is to fly over their base, even if it's just a little bit. He's flying right back toward the base. Uh, my engines are starting to overheat. I really shouldn't have to pay attention too much to my engines at this point. Okay, he's flying towards me. Uh, I'm gonna power down a little bit because I do not want to have my engine or I do not want to fly too fast um, let's Try to get that six kill Come on Come on No, I miscalculated. I hate when people just retreat back to their base. It's so cheap anyways Whatever. It's still still a tactic, and I did it. I fell right into it. Uh, I was so hungry for that sixth kill. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Now this is the end of the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me how stupid I am for doing what I just did. But like I said, I don't really care. I play, try to play fast, try to play hard. I really don't care about tactics, which is why ground RB is not really for me. Thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.